New moon is a time for rebirth, to let go of what has been, forgive ourselves for whatever wrong we think we may have done, and begin anew. In many cultures, the new moon is the beginning of the new month. It also represents a time of spiritual rest, when we can contemplate what we want in our lives and plant the seeds of those desires, that they may grow with the lunar cycle. Kali, a Hindu goddess of 100 different names, can help us in our work with the new moon. This goddess of power, manifested in the feminine trinity of maiden, mother and crone. In Hindu religion, the moon cycle is divided into three parts. And the Tri Devi, that's your triple goddesses, are seen according to the moon phase. Shukul, Pratipada to Shukul Dashmi, that's your vaccine moon day 1 to vaccine moon, May, moon day 10, is represented by Goddess Durga. Shukul Dashmi to Krishna Panchmi, that's your vaccine moon day 10 to waning moon day 5, is represented by Goddess Lakshmi. Now your Krishna Panchmi to Amavasya, that's a waning moon day 5 to waning moon day 14. And your Amavasya or new moon, it's the last day which is represented by a goddess Kali. And a goddess Kali is often seen as murderous, but the truth is that, truth is that she only slays demons. Kali will help you to put away the ego and allow you to see that connection to life is only illusion. She'll help you give you strength and God cut all the elements of destruction and attachment to people and possessions. She'll also help you to face forces that threaten or prevent you from becoming who you incarnated to be. Goddess Kali is connected with the root chakra. So if you're in need of healing or grounding, her energy will help you with these issues. Kali symbolizes the death of the ego in the ultimate goal of human life in Hindu Dharma. Moksha, the liberation from the cycle of rebirth. Kali is embodiment of time, Kala, and the female form of Shiva, Kala. Her name literally means she who is black. Kali is said to live in cemeteries amid decaying corpses, reminding us that our world is nothing but a cemetery where all things that are born must decay and die. She wears a garland of skulls to show us that we too must cut asunder and skeletons in a closet. She gives us the implements of her own personal accessions. She drips blood while consuming all of creation. She reminds us that every minute is constantly destroyed in the cycle of time. We must rise above this manifested world to see her, see her in her infinitude. Just as Sri Ramakrishna Paramahansada, great saint of Bengal, saw her, he found in her the benign, all-loving mother. He felt in her breath the soothing touch of tender love and saw in her the seed of immortality. Born of Vishnu's sense organs, or perhaps the composite of Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva and the glory of the Devas, she encouraged us to come to our senses to teachers like Sri Ramakrishna. You see her only as black because you are far away from her. Go near, go near and you will find her devoid of all color. The nearer you come to God, the nearer you come to God, the more you will realize that God has neither name nor form. Because Kali represents the absolute blackness of no space, no time. She represents a sh you know, your subconscious cleansing that we need. That's what Kali represents and that why it reflects with the new moon and it comes at night. Because it's the unknown, the demonic, the darkness in me, the tamsic nature in me. We, I know we all want to be good. We all really want to do right thing. But we are really not very good, right? That's the truth. We can't help but think negative thoughts or gossip or destroy or hurt others. That's very human. It's a human nature thing. But when we meditate, do inner work, do subconscious cleansing every day. 
Our inward journey through meditation helps nullify the negative karma. And you just wash out everything when you meditate. And then there is nothing. You become so hollow and empty and whatever fear is there will just dissolve and disappear and thin down all that is laid on the self. And this is so precious. So precious. Mother Kali emerges out of darkness of the new moon night. If you reach out and seek a companionship closer through your heart, she manifests in your consciousness. And as you begin to harmonize yourself with the energies, she brings you bliss. When you dissolve your consciousness in the darkness of the night, she helps you see the reality. She does. She refines your understanding of different patterns of energies and finally brings you the courage and valor to act upon your reality. So make sure, make sure to invoke Goddess Kali on New Moon Day as it considered to be an ideal day to welcome her. You can invoke her any day, but New Moon Day is, is an ideal day to invoke her. Listen to my video on how to invoke Goddess Kali and meditate to do a subconscious cleansing and nullify our negative karma and erase the sheets of ignorance that surrounds us. When you welcome Kali into consciousness, she removes all confusions and wipes away all fears and illusions of mind through her intoxicating dance. She delivers you from all kinds of shackles. With her ferocity, she cuts through the rhythms of time and space and opens up channels through which we can receive infinite grace. She makes us alert and more receptive of higher forms of knowledge. So dev devoting yourself to Kali helps you it helps you awake Kundalini Shakti, your energy, and bring a transformation within. She transforms you. She does. So look out for the link for the meditation below in the description, or simply click the link at the end of the video to do your subconscious cleansing and nullify your negative karma and erase the sheets of ignorance that surround you and connect with the divine source of existence. So get ready to transform. All the best.